Be honest, if you were served this scrumptious looking meal, you'd think it's chicken, right? I really hope you said yes, because we set out to make the most convincing seitan chicken breast out there, and to be honest, I think we succeeded. For anyone who doesn't know, seitan is a meat alternative that dates back centuries and has been used in many cultures that follow a vegetarian diet, and it's also recently gained popularity because of TikTok. Simply combine flour and water until a rough dough forms, then knead it on a clean counter to form a smooth ball. This step is when the gluten starts to develop, and since seitan is basically just straight gluten, that's very important. You can tell if it's ready because when you poke it, the dough should spring back up. Place your dough ball into a large bowl, then pour enough cool water over top to completely cover it. Next, cover the whole bowl and let rest for 1-2 to two hours at room temperature. Now it's time to wash the flour. By this I mean gently knead the dough under the water until it turns opaque and white like milk. That's the starch being removed, leaving behind the gluten protein. Drain the water which you can save to make other recipes such as cold skin noodles, then continue washing the dough and draining the water 2-3 to three more times. The water doesn't need to run clear, but should be less opaque than before, like milk mixed with water if that makes sense. After the final rinse and strain, cover the dough again and let rest for another 20 minutes in the colander to drain and relax. It's at this point that any loose pieces of dough will magically bond back together. Try not to get too creeped out by that, it's just the gluten strands holding hands, which is kind of sweet actually. Now to add some flavor. This part is up to you, but we added nutritional yeast, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and salt. It's easiest to incorporate the flavors by kneading them into the seitan with your hands until just combined. And finally, one more rest to allow the gluten to relax and bind together again. Then you can cut the dough into six triangles and loosely spread each into the shape of a chicken breast. Fry these over medium-high heat in vegetable oil until golden and crispy on both sides. At this point, these already started to look like cooked chicken breast, but we weren't finished yet. To finish the cooking process and impart more flavor, drain the oil from the pan, then pour in about one cup of vegetable or mock chicken broth, followed by a little soy sauce, which is optional. Return the seitan to the pan, cover and simmer on low for 30 to 45 minutes. These can be served right away, but to give them that extra chicken look, we grilled each piece on both sides using a weight to get some really nice grill marks. Overall, I think looks wise, we nailed it. In terms of taste, it's pretty tricky to actually replicate the flavor of a chicken breast, but these were meaty and savory like chicken and had a nice chew to them. Give it a try at home and while you're still here, check out one of these other great videos.